Welcome back to Good Days in Law. Sharon Neal joins us today with more information on a summer youth program coming up. Sharon, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Natalie, for having us of today. Of course, of course. What a great opportunity for kids to do something this summer. Tell us more about it. Right. Well, we have a summer youth program, and that summer youth program takes in youth that um, are interested in work readiness training. Um, most of these are graduates, so we're looking for graduating seniors this year to come into our summer program. And what we do is we grab those, those uh, kids and we um, help them find a job opportunity or training um, that fits their interest level. So what we do is we have grant money and we pay for their wages. So it's usually 11 to $14 an hour. Um, we have employers that step up and do help kind of sponsor these kids and put them in a work and experience that relates to whatever their interest level. Um, and the reason why that's so important is, as you know, uh, kids this age graduating seniors, they don't always know what they want to do or they think they want to do something um, and go into a particular trade or industry and we're able to put them in those work experiences and help them decide if that's something that their interest level really lies in. Um, my son last year, he graduated and he wanted to be a veterinarian, so I told him he had to go to vet, vet work in a vet's clinic um, during the summer. Well, he did, and he ended up not liking it because sometimes <laughs> the animals don't always make it, and it right. was very, very difficult for him. So, I mean, it's a very great, it's a great experience for you to be able to figure out what they want to do. And it's a perfect time for the summer, um, usually right before they're starting school. Um, and then we're also able to help them find trades with that. We, we sponsor with CLTCC in the community college close by. Um, and they're great about helping us help these kids plug into the community. So we are needing lots of kids to come in and uh, let us help them with their work experience and help pay their wages. That's fantastic. Yes. Yes. And are there any requirements besides uh, graduating high school? Um, there are some requirements, but we usually have to go and put them in that situation with our WEO a grant money. There's certain eligibility requirements, but we try to not get bogged down with that. We just want our kids to come in to our center um, and apply. We do have orientation coming up. Uh, March uh, May 24th between 9 and 12 so we really would like to take that time to get as many youth as we can to come into our center um, and we're at the Rapids American Job Center on Coliseum Boulevard and so they would just come in we have um, youth case managers they can come in and ask for Laverne or Donna okay perfect that's great and so uh, they need to go in person to be able to apply correct correct yeah and okay. they usually have to bring their driver's license their birth certificate their social security card and some test scores that they have maybe from high school okay some great and then they kind of sit down with someone and kind of explain what they might be interested in right we have a career um, assessment that we give them to help kind of center them and focus them and it actually shows them the jobs that they would most fit in uh, based on their interest level. So a lot of kids are very surprised after they take their interest level uh, assessment what it ends up showing because they're like, oh, well, I didn't know that, you know, that I could be a counselor. I didn't know that my interest level might lie as becoming an edu being in education and becoming an educator. So it's very, it's very useful information. Absolutely. And a great stepping stone for those seniors who just graduated high school uh, as they decide what they want to do with their life, no matter if they're going to college or trade school. Um, it sounds like a fantastic program. Is there a number people can call if they have more questions about uh, it? They can call the center. It's 318-767-6030. Um, and to just to springboard off of our uh, program that we have for the summer youth, we just uh, was awarded a $300,000 grant through the Rapids Foundation for our youth program. So we are actually expanding that youth program and we're gonna be able to really reach out and recruit some disconnected youth. And when we say disconnected, we say if they're not working or if they're not going to school, um, they are a candidate for this program. So we are really excited about being able to help even more people. What a great resource. Yes. Yes. Sharon, thank you so much for coming on the show and telling us all about it. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. Of course.